This is part three of a set of videos demonstrating how to do the chapter six database assignment from Velasich and Schneider using WordPress, MySQL, and phpMyAdmin. Part three covers how to create reports in WordPress using ELI's custom SQL report plugin. Now that our database has been created, we will create a page in our WordPress website to display our reports. The original assignment wants us to list all the sales agents grouped by office, including totals per office, then the list of sales agents for each destination with agent totals per destination, and finally, the destinations sold by each sales agent with totals per agent. On the assignment page, I give you these queries. I also give you two more queries at the start that will just list the offices and the destinations. This is useful within the text of paragraphs. You will need to do, all you need to do is to replace all of the places where you see eight X's with your hawaii.edu username. Start by logging into WordPress. We will use a WordPress plugin called ELI's Custom SQL Reports that will give us the ability to create custom SQL queries that display where we want on a WordPress page. If you have not yet installed the plugin, click Plugins then add new, search for custom SQL reports, and click search. The first one that comes up for me is the one I want, ELI's custom SQL report admin with short code, five stars. It's important to remember this next part, post using a short code like beginning square bracket, capital S-Q-L-R-E-P-O-R-T, space, name equals, double quote, my report, and double quote. This is what you type to put the report on a page. Replace my report with the name of your report. Click install. Once it is installed, notice the new SQL Reports side menu entry. Click SQL Reports. On top is where we will copy in our SQL statements. Never mind the example in the box right now. Copy the first query from the assignment into the box, replacing what is there. Then replace the eight X's with your hawaii.edu username. Type the name offices for this report and click the button. As the report shows, it is just a list of offices in alphabetical order. Also notice the report added under the SQL Reports tab on the left. Do the same for the other four reports. Click SQL Reports and copy over the second query. Change all the X's to your hawaii.edu username and save it as Destinations. This report is an alphabetical list of destinations. Click SQL Reports and copy over the third query, which is a table listing the agents at each office. Replace all the X's with your username 
and save this report as Agents by Office. Click SQL Reports and copy over the fourth query, which is a table for listing the agent bookings by destination. Replace all the X's with your username and save this report as Agents by Destination. Finally, click the SQL reports one more time and copy over the fifth query, which is a table listing the destinations sold by each agent. Replace all the X's with your username and save this report as destinations by agent. Now that all the SQL reports have been created, we can put them on a new page on our website. On the left sidebar, find Pages and click Add New. For the title, you can enter Campus Travel Report. In the large text box, Enter text along with the short codes for inserting the reports within the text. You can start with a statement about where we have offices and the destinations we serve. Clicking Preview can show us what it looks like before it is published. Next, let's add the Agents by Office. Clicking Preview shows us the table of Agents by Office. Next, let's add Agents by Destination.
clicking the preview shows us the added agents by destination. Finally, let's add the last report of the assignment, which is the destinations by agents. Now we can publish the page. From the home page, we see the page is added to our menu. When we click, we see our reports, our offices, the places we serve, our agents, where our agents book, and destinations by agent. This completes the third and final part of the assignment.